let us come to the next stage. The moment the old man says that I have not given anything other than this house, hearing him, one wonders if he has achieved what many have failed in their lifetime. The writer says, hearing him, one wonders if he has achieved what many have failed in their lifetime. Man is saying that I have not achieved anything other than a small house for my family. So the writer says, I am wondering, I am not understanding, I I he has achieved kya usne wo paya jo many bahut se log apne jeevan mein nahi kar sakte house making is not so simple making a house is not an easy job buying land buying a place a small place a small land bricks cement rods doors and so on so for tiles and what not uske liye jitna paisa lagta hai you must have enough money to make a house. And they are fortunate who have a house of their own. They are very fortunate who have a house of their own. So that is what the writer is saying. I wonder what he has achieved. Is it not an achievement? Because many other people fail to do get even that in their lifetime. He has a roof over his head. Uske paas kam se kam chhat to hai. Apne sir ko dhakne ke liye uske paas chhat to hai. He has a roof over his head. So even if a small roof, but he has a roof. He is the master of that house. That's a big thing. The cry of not having money to do anything except carry on business of making bangles, not even enough to eat, rings in every home. Now the writer tells her experience from that visit. And she says, the cry, jo dard hai, jo duk hai, cry means dard or duk. Yaha pa cry mane rona bhi. Jo rona pan hai, jo duk hai, jo dard hai, the cry of not having money, to do anything except carrying on the business of making bangles, not even enough to eat, rings in every house. Her ghar mein is baat ki awaj aati hai, yahi awaj aati hai, dukh ki, dard ki, ke un gharon ke longo ne apni zindagi mein keval bangal making kiya, uske alawa, Ek jun ka paryapt bhojan bhi nahi juta paaye. This is the meaning of this line. Not even enough to eat rings in their ears, rings in their houses. Ring hona matlab bajna. Ghar ghar mein yehi awaj. Everywhere. The same, same, same sound. That it is ringing in their ears. The young men Echo the lament of their elders. Lament karna yane pashtawa hona. Echo matlab prati dhwani. E-C-H-O, echo, mane prati dhwani. When we in a room, we shout loudly, you get some echo. The voice comes back to you sometimes. Echo. Hum bolte hai na, ghash, ki echo ho raha hai. Matlab awad ka gunjana. So the same voice echo in every house. Konsa? Young men everywhere, they say the same thing. Or they echo the lament of their elders. Apne se bade longo ka jo pachtawa hai. Ke hum keval bangal making kar paaye, uske alawa kuch nahi. Ye pachtawa sabhi, sabhi young longo mein hai. Sabhi yuva longo mein ye pachtawe ki bhaavna hai. Sabhi log yehi baat karte hai. Everyone is unhappy. Everyone is sad. Everyone is uh, uh, dejected with life, not happy in life. The young men echo the lament of their elders. Afsos, lament, afsos. Maa baap ke jo afsos hai, usko ye log 
यंग लोग भी बोलते हैं वही चीजें बोलते हैं कि हमें भी अफसोस है लिटल हैज मूव्ड विथ टाइम इट लुक्स इन फरी फिरोजाबाद ऐसा लगता है कि फिरोजाबाद में कुछ ज्यादा नहीं बदला है वही ढर्रे पर नथिंग हैज चेंज इन लाइफ इन फिरोजाबाद सेम 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 थिंग हैपनिंग सो वाइल साहेब्स लाइफ इज अबाउट सीमापुरी मुकेश एंड हिज फैमिली लाइफ इज अबाउट फिरोजाबाद वाइल साहेब सीमापुरी इज नोन फॉर रैग पिकिंग रैग पिकर वाइल मेन प्रोफेशन ऑफ सीमापुरी इज रैग पिकिंग द मेन प्रोफेशन ऑफ पीपल इन फिरोजाबाद इज बैंगल मेकिंग सी द डिफरेंस इन देयर लाइफ दे आर थिंकिंग एंड सी ऑल्सो द कॉमननेस इन देयर लाइफ दोनों में समानता क्या है और दोनों में विरोधाभास क्या है दोनों में विभिन्नता क्या है इसको देखिए लिटल हैज मूव्ड विथ टाइम इट लुक्स इन फिरोजाबाद फिरोजाबाद में कुछ नहीं बदला है समय के साथ कुछ नहीं बदला है इतने लंबे काल में नथिंग हैज चेंज आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू द लेन्स एंड बाई लेन्स ऑफ फिरोजाबाद दो गलिया ऑफ फिरोजाबाद द राइटर फर्दर सेज द ईयर्स ऑफ माइंड नंबिंग टॉयल टॉयल मीन्स कठोर श्रम टी ओ आई एल टॉयल वी मस्ट टॉयल हार्ड टू अचीव सक्सेस टॉयल मीन्स कठोर श्रम वी ऑल मस्ट टॉयल नॉट वर्क बट टॉयल कठिन श्रम इफ वी वॉन्ट टू सक्सीड द बेस्ट वे इज दैट वी मस्ट टॉयल हियर द राइटर से इज माइंड नंबिंग टॉयल टू नंब नंब करना मीन्स शून्य कर दिमाग को शून्य कर देने वाली कड़ी मेहनत माइंड नंबिंग टॉयल to numb the body has become very numb my hand has become numb matlab ye sun ho gaya hai in paralysis your hand somebody's hand who has a paralysis his hand becomes numb in cold the skin becomes numb extreme cold the skin becomes numb so in mind numbing toil dimag ko sun kar dena wali kathor mehnat mein my numbing toil have killed all initiative and the ability to dream this is the key sentence of this stage of story that they work hard for years long long time they are fully into bangle making their sahib is fully into rag picking and then becomes a um you know a kind of a tea boy in a tea stall but this hard labor over the years it kills their initiative it kills their ability to dream sapna lene ki jo kshamta hai wo kho dete hain kyunki pure samay usi mein lagte hain sapna lene ke liye bhi samay chahiye in order to dream you should have time for yourself when you are thinking about yourself then you are thinking big then you are dreaming and you have to dream to dream is not a crime not to work for that dream is big crime we must dream apj abdul kalam the very eminent president of india late president of india he spoke about dream and he said that we must dream big hame bade sapne dekhne chahiye but here the author says these people the bangle makers are so busy in their work at toiling for years for long long hours that make their mind be numb jisse unka dimag sun ho jata hai they lose that very ability to dream दे लीव दे लूज देयर एबिलिटी टू ड्रीम अपने सोचने की क्षमता खो बैठते हैं सपना लेने की क्षमता खो बैठते हैं सपने के लिए सोचना होता सोचने की क्षमता खो बैठते हैं वॉट हैपन्स नेक्स्ट वाई नॉट ऑर्गेनाइज योर सेल्फ इन टू ए कोऑपरेटिव 
I ask a group of young men who have fallen into the virtual circle of middlemen who trapped their fathers and forefathers. It's a very long line. See, in inverted comma, the author says something to a group of men who are around. What does she say? Why not organize yourself into a cooperative? Apne ko ek सहकारी संस्था के रूप सहकारी ग्रुप क्यों नहीं बनाते कोऑपरेटिव सहकारी संघ वाई नॉट ऑर्गेनाइज योर सेल्फ इन टू ए कोऑपरेटिव अपने को एक कोऑपरेटिव के जैसा ग्रुप क्यों नहीं बनाते कोऑपरेटिव क्या है यू नो सम थर्टी फोर्टी इयर्स बैक द मिल्क इन इंडिया the production was good but people did not know where to sell the milk and how to sell the milk they would go from door to door and whatever they could sell that's fine otherwise rest is all wasted so milkmen were and milkmen were going to the same houses people have already bought milk from other people the third man goes he learned that somebody has already supplied milk in those houses and so there would be surplus of milk being thrown so one man comes forward and starts a cooperative of milk men in a place called anand in gujarat gujarat anand mein ek cooperative shuru hota hai sahakari sangh shuru hota hai jisme milk men log they decide that they will all bring their milk here at one place and from here it will be sent to different places it will be distributed properly and it will be made sure that all milk is sold and then the profit will be distributed among those who have brought milk so they don't have to run from shop to shop from house to house they just have to bring milk here and from here another set of people will sell it in specified areas bring money and will distribute it among those who have brought milk after taking some share from it this is called cooperative aapne suna hoga cooperative bank aise cooperative dairy amul jo hai amul is nothing but cooperative a m u l find out what is the full form of a m u l it is the first cooperative of for milk production in india and thereafter the milk production in india has gone not only gone up but there is no wastage of milk amul ka full form kya hai thoda dekhen a m u l a stands for anand anand is the place in gujarat where mr kurian started this cooperative for your knowledge let me tell you mr kurian he started this cooperative well so to coming back to this point the writer also tells this young people why don't you organize and start a cooperative sahakari sanstha kyu nahi banate aur malum padta hai ki these people they had already fallen into the circle of middlemen aise dalalon ke beech mein log phans gaye the जो जिनसे उनके पिताजी और पिताजी के पिताजी लोगों ने इनसे पैसा उधारी लेके अपना काम शुरू किया था और जब इन दलालों के बीच में इन साहूकारों के बीच में फंसते हो टू ट्रैप मतलब फंसना घेरे में आ जाना टू ट्रैप आई हैव ट्रैप्ड ए रैट आई ट्रैप द थीफ मैंने चोरी चोर को घेर लिया ट्रैप कर देना सो so, these young boys with whom i was talking the narrator said their father their forefather they had already taken loans and money from these sahukars and these middlemen middle matlab men matlab dalal for their business small money and they were paying back also but the money will never stop because interest will go on adding byaj judte jata hai so that was a big problem big problem that 
these people were trapped in the hands of middlemen and such people who would loan out money to them. Even if we get organized, we are the ones who will be hauled up by the police. Now see the line. This is the turning point of the story. The moment lady asks, the writer asks, why don't you get organized? Somebody replies back, what? Even if we get organized, police will come to us. They will beat us. They will drag us to jail for not doing something illegal. This is a point to be noted that police is doing illegal work. That is what they are talking. The job of the police is to enforce law. But here these young boys say that system is so bad that police is involved in illegal work and they will force us to do illegal work. So sad. So the story here is now turning into becoming a message to us all that system is bad. There is something wrong with the system. These boys, these families are poor, not because they are not working, not because they are bad in character, not because they are not hard working, but because of something else also. And that something else is the system. Why not organize? The moment this question comes, somebody replies back, what to organize? Even if we get organized, we are the ones who will be hauled. Hall mane hame pakad ke ghir liya jayega. We will be hauled by the police. Hame police ghir legi, pakad legi, ikattha kar legi, pakad pakad ke le aegi. We will be hauled by the police and dragged into the jail. Jail mein humko dal legi, drag karna matlab dhakka dena. Khiste huye le jana. To drag, don't drag the table. Don't drag the topic. Topic ko mat khicho. Don't drag your lecture. Apne bhashan mat khicho. Don't drag your answer. Apna uttar mat lamba khicho. Write to the point. Binduar likho. Don't drag it. Khil jabardasti khichna. Yaha par. Police will drag me. That is what they said. And they will force us to do illegal work. Or aisa galat kaam karayegi. Or galat kaam ka bahana lekar unko jail mein dal degi. Then a police is also involved in bad things. Behavior of the police forces many young people to do wrong. That is what the system they are talking about. They say there is no leader among them. Writer says, I found that there is no leader in the beach. Why? The leader will become the police will catch him first. The leader will become the police will catch him. To lead means to move forward. That means to become a leader. The leader who goes forward is a leader. So police will, they say that there is no leader among us. No one who could help them see things differently. The writer says, in bachchon se baat karte hue, while talking to these youths, I found that there is no one who is a leader. I found that there is no one who can give them direction, who can guide them, who can make them think in a different way. They are all thinking, Keep what? We will be organized and police will take us to the jail. Well, who will make them understand that no, there can be some other way to improve? Their fathers are as tired as they are. The lady further says, the writer further says, that their father is so tired of what they are doing, as they are tired of what they are doing, as I am talking about. The people I am talking to, they are tired and their fathers were also very tired. Their parents were also very tired. Tired means to go. They talk endlessly in a spiral that moves from poverty to apathy to greed and to injustice. I repeat this line. They talk endlessly. No one is not talking about it. They are talking about it. When I am trying to find out their problems, when I am trying to look for their problems, they go on talking because there are plenty to say. Unke paas bahut chiz hai kehne ke liye. And they talk endlessly. They talk about what? Ek spiral ki tarah, kundali ki tarah. 
देख सेइंग दे टॉक अबाउट पावर्टी गरीबी की बात करेंगे वहां से चलते चलते वो एपैथी एपैथी मींस किसी के प्रति आ, अच्छी भावना ना होना एपैथी दे विल टॉक अबाउट ग्रीड लालच लोभ ग्रीड मींस लालच लोभ एंड दे विल टॉक अबाउट इनजस्टिस अन्याय जैसे इन बट द मोमेंट आई स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू दीज चिल्ड्रन अबाउट हाउ टू गेट ऑर्गेनाइज द मोमेंट आई टेल देम टू चेंज देम सेल्व द मोमेंट आई टेल देम टू चेंज देयर माइंड सेट दे विल गो ऑन स्पीकिंग अबाउट दीज थिंग इनजस्टिस ग्रीड एपैथी पावर्टी एंड वॉट नॉट बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट दे हैव बीन सींग ऑल देयर लाइफ लिसनिंग टू देम आई सी टू डिस्टिंक्ट वर्ल्ड This is the last, very most powerful paragraph of the story. Listening to them, unko sunte hue, I see two distinct world. Distinct means अलग अलग, clearly अलग अलग. मैं दो दुनिया देखती हूँ. Listening to them, I see two distinct worlds. मैं दो अलग अलग दुनिया देखती हूँ. One of the family caught in a web of poverty. burdened by the stigma of caste in which they are born i see two different types of world when i am talking to these youths when i am thinking of saheb mukesh savita the grand old mother the old father and so on and so forth when i am looking at seema puri when i am looking at firozabad lanes and by lanes i see two different type of world one world where people are deep in poverty people are extremely poor caught in a web of poverty web means jal makdi ka jal cob web makdi ke jal ko kya bolte hain jale ko cob web i see web of poverty poverty ke chakra mein phase hue hain no money so no growth and also they are also burdened by the stigma of caste stigma means dhabba stigma means dhabba jati ka dhabba jo unme laga hai nimn jati ke hone ka wo aur garibi ek duniya aisi hai and the other world the other a vicious circle of sahukar the middlemen the policemen the keepers of law aur ek duniya mein dekhti hu jahan par ek vicious circle hai ek aisa chakra jise hum keh sakte hain visham chakra vicious circle matlab visham chakra ek aisa circle hai jisme sahukar hain police hai उसके बाद दलाल लोग हैं और उसके बाद पुलिस जो कीपर्स ऑफ लॉ हैं कानून के जो रखवाले हैं वे लोग भी इस विशेष सर्कल में शामिल हैं साहूकार तो हैं ही जो लोग पैसे का लेन देन करते हैं पैसे का धंधा करते हैं दोज पीपल हु गिव मनी एंड टेक इंटरेस्ट फॉर द मनी दैट दे गिव दे आर कॉल्ड साहूकार दे आर कॉल्ड द पीपल हु लेंड मनी जो पैसा उधारी में देते हैं इन रिटर्न फॉर सम इंटरेस्ट ब्याज के एवज में तो साहूकार आर देयर मिडल मैन आर देयर दलाल आर देयर एंड द पुलिस मैन द कीपर्स ऑफ लॉ आर देयर सो वन वर्ल्ड इज ऑफ द पीपल हु आर फेसिंग पावर्टी हु आर फेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कास्ट एंड द अदर वर्ल्ड इज ऑफ द पीपल हु आर पावरफुल powerful power of money power of post sahukar power of money and policemen power of post middlemen power of money and post both these two worlds are starkly opposed to each other ye jo do duniya hain ye bilkul ek dusre se alag one is the world of grave poverty helplessness and another is the world of power and unfortunately 
the one with power and money are exploiting these people to exploit means shoshan karna and because of this exploitation because of this shoshan because of the fact that these powerful people exploit these the other world people are not able to grow they do not know where to start from not only that the writer says that sahukars middlemen policemen who are keepers of law are also helped by bureaucrats and politicians bureaucrats matlab naukar shahi bureaucrats see the spelling of the word bureaucrat b u r e a u but pronunciation is bureau b u r e a u pronunciation uchcharan jo hai wo bureau hai bureaucrats and politicians inke sath नौकर शाही यानी सरकारी अफसर और इनके साथ नेता लोग भी मिले हुए रहते हैं सो द पॉइंट इज दैट ऑल दीज पीपल हुए पावर दे आर ऑन वन साइड एंड दे आर सकिंग दीज पुअर पीपल उनको चूस रहे हैं टुगेदर दे हैव इम्पोज द बैगेज ऑन द चाइल्ड दैट ही कैन नॉट पुट डाउन एक साथ मिलकर टुगेदर एक साथ मिलकर दे हैव इम्पोज द बैगेज ऑन द चाइल्ड एक साथ मिलकर इन इस गुट के लोगों ने उसके ऊपर भार डाल दिया है बच्चे के ऊपर ऐसा भार जिसे वो हटा नहीं सकता टुगेदर दे हैव इम्पोज लादना टू इम्पोज मीन्स लादना एक साथ मिलकर ब्यूरोक्रैट्स पॉलिटिशियंस पुलिसमैन साहूकार मिडलमैन दे हैव कम टुगेदर लाइक ए कॉकस दे हैव कम टुगेदर लाइक ए माफिया एंड दे हैव इम्पोज द बैगेज ऑन द चाइल्ड दैट ही कैन नॉट पुट डाउन बैगेज मीन्स वजन बिफोर ही इज अवेयर ही एक्सेप्टेड एज नेचुरली एज हिज फादर द राइटर से इससे पहले वो बच्चा जागता है समझने लगता है टू बी अवेयर मीन समझने लगना टू बी अवेयर मीन समझने लगना इससे पहले कि बच्चा समझने लगता है वो स्वीकार कर लेता है कि जो भी है वह नेचुरल है स्वाभाविक है यानी साहूकारों का बिहेवियर पुलिसमैन का बिहेवियर पॉलिटिशियंस का बिहेवियर ब्यूरोक्रेट्स का जो भी बिहेवियर है ये लोग जो भी करते हैं वो स्वाभाविक है सो बैड हाउ कुड बी नेचुरल दे आर बिहेविंग लाइक बिग बॉसेस जस्ट बिकॉज दे आर इन पावर जस्ट बिकॉज दे हैव मनी एंड नॉट बिकॉज दिस इज वॉट दे आर सपोज टू डू सो राइटर सेज बिफोर ही इज अवेयर ही मीन्स द चाइल्ड बिफोर द चाइल्ड इज अवेयर he accepted as naturally as his father ye jo group ka jo behavior hai isko wo swabhavik manta hai waise hi jaise uske pita ji mante the prakritik swabhavik bartav manta hai inka police wala aayega wo danda to mare gayi the policeman is bound to drag the policeman is bound to force me to do illegal work If I don't obey police order, he will put me to jail for no reason. The middleman will go on making money out of the money that I have borrowed from him. The politician will also show his power. He will show his neta giri, and what not. This is all natural to these people who live in a place like Sima Puri, who live in places like Firozabad, and working at that level. money less people power less people to do anything else would mean to dare dare matlab bahaduri dikhana chetavni dena to do anything else means to dare yadi wo kuch aur karega to iska matlab apna sahas dikhane wali baat yani dussahasi ye kuch bhi aur main karu to ek dussahas hoga दुस्साहस बुरा होता है 
और कुछ और मतलब क्या इफ आई क्वेश्चन दीज पीपल द पीपल ऑफ द अदर वर्ल्ड द पीपल ऑफ द पॉलिटिशियन द पीपल पुलिस मैन द पीपल मीन्स साहूकार इफ आई क्वेश्चन दैम इफ आई आर दैम द रीजन फॉर देयर बिहेवियर इफ आई डोंट ओबे दैम दैट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दुस्साहस दैट विल बी समथिंग लाइक डेयरिंग एक दुस्साहस ही होगा एंड यू नो वट हैपन एंड डेयरिंग इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ इज ग्रोइंग अप ऑथर से इज वेरी सैडली ऑथर से इज वेरी एपोलॉजिटिकली बहुत अफसोस करते हुए ऑथर कहती हैं कि ऐसा दुस्साहस दिखाना इन लोगों की कल्पना के बाहर है एंड डेयरिंग इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ देयर ग्रोइंग अप उनका जो वार्धक्य हुआ है वो लोग जो ग्रो हुए हैं उनका जो बचपना है और जो युवा बने हैं दे हैव नेवर लर्न वॉट इज डेयरिंग दे हैव नॉट लर्न टू बी बोल्ड दे हैव नॉट लर्न टू चैलेंज द सिस्टम इट इज समथिंग बियॉन्ड देयर थिंकिंग उनकी सोच के बाहर है बिकॉज दे हैव इन कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्किंग इन दो स्मॉल डिंजी रूम्स दे हैव नो टाइम टू थिंक ऑफ एनी थिंग अदर देन जस्ट ट्राइंग टू स्ट्रगल टू मेक टू मील्स सो इट इज बियॉन्ड देयर थिंकिंग टू चैलेंज दीज पीपल डेयरिंग इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ देयर ग्रोइंग उनके वार्धक्य का उनकी ग्रोथ का हिस्सा ऐसा दुस्साहस कभी नहीं रहा When I sense a flash of it in Mukesh, I am cheered. The writer says, "When I sense, जब मैं देखती हूँ, महसूस sense करना मतलब महसूस करना. Our body has five senses, जिनसे हम महसूस करते हैं: चमड़ी, आँख, नाक की गंध, जीभ का स्वाद. इन पांच चीजों से हम sense करते हैं, महसूस करते हैं. So when I sense When I sense a flash of it, इस दुस्साहस का थोड़ा सा मुझे मुकेश में कुछ दिखाई देता है ए फ्लैश फ्लैश कैमरे का फ्लैश क्या होता है लाइट एक सेकेंड में आती है और चली जाती है दैट इज कॉल्ड फ्लैश बहुत तेजी से लाइट का चले जाना तो वेन आई सी ए फ्लैश ऑफ दिस दुस्साहस इन मुकेश मुकेश की बात में मुझे तो थोड़ा सा दुस्साहस का फ्लैश दिखाई देता है आई feel happy i feel very happy i am very cheered cheered matlab happy mujhe badi khushi hoti hai kyunki main mukesh ke chehre mein thoda sa aisa dikhai deta hai ki wo thoda sa dussahas kar sakta hai because mukesh very boldly he said i want to be a car driver i want to work independently i don't want to work under a master i i want to be a boss of myself ही सेट दैट ना कि मैं कार ड्राइवर बनना चाहता हूँ अपना खुद मैकेनिक बनना चाहता हूँ और मैकेनिक बन के फिर मैं अपनी खुद काम करूँगा देर विल बी नो वन टू टेल मी वॉट टू डू एंड वॉट नॉट टू डू सो दैट इज वाई ऑथर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट मुकेश एंड शी से दैट दैट काइंड ऑफ दुस्साह दैट काइंड ऑफ डेयरिंग आई कैन सी सम वॉट इन मुकेश आई वॉन्ट टू बी ए मोटर मैकेनिक He repeats. फिर वो दोहरा रहा है मुकेश यहाँ पर मैं तो मोटर मैकेनिक बनना चाहता हूँ He will go to a garage and learn, but the garage is a long way from his home. मैं गराज जाऊँगा वहाँ सीखूँगा Writer says again, but garage is a long way. गराज बहुत दूर है Says Mukesh. Mukesh says. that i want to be a motor mechanic but the garage is a long way writer says from his home tumhare ghar se to garage bahut dur hai writer says immediately mukesh says he doesn't think twice wo thoda bhi nahi sochta aur writer ke ye kehne par ki garage to tumhare ghar se bahut dur hai mukesh immediately says i'll walk no problem so bold so quick a boy having dream he has a dream he has a passion he has the courage he is willing to face the tough world he is willing to challenge and so he says i'll walk again he says do you also dream of flying a plane 
आई आस्क क्या तुम प्लेन उड़ाने का भी सपना देखते हो जब मैंने ऐसा पूछा ही बिकम साइलेंट वो चुप हो जाता है द मोमेंट आई आस वेन आई आस वॉट डू यू डू वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू डू ही से आई वुड लाइक टू बी ए मैकेनिक वेन आई से वेल द गराज इज वेरी फार अवे ही से आई वॉक डाउन वेन शी से एंड ही से वॉक डाउन एंड ही से वेरी प्राउडली बट वेन द लेडी वेन द राइटर आस Do you wish to fly a plane? Do you also want to be a plane driver, plane pilot? Do you wish to fly a plane? The moment he she says that Mukesh's face becomes sullen. He becomes quiet. He becomes quiet. Becomes silent and says no. No, 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 no. He says no, no, no. no. Staring at the ground, जमीन को दे स्टेयर करना मतलब घूरना टू स्टेयर एस टी ए आर ई घूरना ही स्टेयरिंग एट मी वो आदमी मुझे घूर रहा है द पुलिस मैन इज स्टेयरिंग एट मी पुलिस वाला घूर घूर रहा है और स्टे सीढ़ी को भी स्टेयर कहते हैं इवन द सीढ़ी इज कॉल्ड स्टेयर बट द स्पेलिंग ऑफ सीढ़ी इज एस टी ए आई आर एंड हियर द स्पेलिंग इज एस टी ए आर ई Stair, S T A I R. Stair is a noun. It means sidi, ladder. And there, S T A R E. Stair means ghurna. So he stares at the ground and he says, No, 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 no. I don't want to fly. No, 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 no. He is suddenly silent. Or chup jata. In his small murmur, there is an embarrassment that has not yet turned into regret. Who could mun banata hai? और उसमें एक अफसोस है एक एम्बरसमेंट है एक संशय है एक तरीके से उसके मन में हिचक है और वो कहता है उसकी बात से ऐसा लगता है कि उसको अफसोस नहीं है लेकिन एक इट हैज नॉट टर्न इन टू रिग्रेट रिग्रेट मीन्स अफसोस एम्बरसमेंट मीन्स संकोच एम्बरसमेंट और रिग्रेट मीन्स अफसोस Uh, लेकिन ऐसा लगता है द ऑथर सेज कि वेन आई सेट दिस एंड ही सेट नो 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 ही स्टार्टेड लुकिंग टू द ग्राउंड स्टेयरिंग एट द ग्राउंड जमीन को घूरने लगा सो ही लुकड एम्बरस्ड बट नो रिग्रेट कोई अफसोस नहीं था क्या किस बात का अफसोस नहीं था कि मैं प्लेन नहीं उड़ा सकता इस बात का उसको अफसोस नहीं था ही इज कंटेंट टू ड्रीम ऑफ कार्स टू बी कंटेंट इफ आई आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर टू बी कंटेंट मीन संतुष्ट होना He is content with dreaming the cars. Content to dream of car. वो कार का सपना देखने में संतुष्ट है That he sees hurling down the street of his town, hurling down आवाज के साथ निकल जाना Hurtle करते हुए hurtle, hurtling down. निकल रही जो उन कारों का सपना देखता है जो उसके सामने से शहर में निकलती रहती हैं शहर की सड़कों पर दौड़ती रहती हैं दैट ही सीज हार्टलिंग डाउन द स्ट्रीट ऑफ हिस टाउन द लास्ट लाइन इज फ्यू एयरप्लेन्स फ्लाई ओवर फिरोजाबाद बहुत कम प्लेन उड़ते हैं फिरोजाबाद के ऊपर एंड ही इज हैप्पी अबाउट टॉकिंग अबाउट कार दैट मीन्स His dream, he is dreaming. He is little daring also, but then that also has a limit. उसकी भी एक सीमा है. वो plane उड़ाने का सपना नहीं देख पा रहा है. He is not able to dream of flying the plane. Why? You should have big dreams. So the author says, unfortunately, he is very strong about becoming. Unfortunately, while he is very strong about becoming a motor mechanic, becoming independent, while he is dreaming about being motor mechanic, he is not dreaming about flying the plane. This regrets, of souls. He murmurs. वो भुनभुनाता है. To murmur means भुनभुनाना. In his small murmur. 
देर इज एन एम्बेरसमेंट बट नो रिग्रेट्स एक संकोच है किस बात का संकोच कि मैं प्लेन उड़ाने का सपना नहीं देख सकता मेरी सीमा कार तक ही है मेरे सोचने की सीमा आई कैन थिंक ऑफ ड्राइविंग ए कार बट यू नॉट टू थिंक ऑफ फ्लाइंग द प्लेन इज समथिंग नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर मी बिकॉज आई आई कैनॉट हैव आई कैनॉट थिंक ऑफ फ्लाइंग ए प्लेन राइटर से दिस मे बी रॉन्ग यू मस्ट ड्रीम यू मस्ट ड्रीम बिग सो दिस इज द मैसेज आउट ऑफ दिस स्टोरी दिस स्टोरी हैज सेवरल स्टेजेस एंड राइटर गोज ऑन स्पीकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट सेट्स ऑफ पीपल लिविंग इन डायर पॉवर्टी वर्किंग इन अ वेरी शैंटी प्लेसेस लिविंग इन फिल्थ लिविंग इन स्मॉल स्मॉल डिंजी रूम्स विथ नो फैसिलिटीज वॉट सो एवर एंड सीमापुरी एंड फिरोजाबाद आर not two towns only there are hundreds of such places across the country thousands of such places all over the country and lakhs of families living like this in india so the writer is speaking about this india which is there mentioned for saheb which is mentioned for savita and which is also described for mukesh this is one part of india and the other india the other world is the power of the rich the power of the powerful people that live in cities that live in big towns the people who have and here are the people who do not have so have and have not these two different worlds is beautifully described in this story and at the end in this story the writer successfully mentions succeeds fully in telling the readers that we must dream like mukesh that we must have aim ambition like mukesh has we must not be something like sahab e alam who had a small dream he was happy moving from rag picker to the shopkeeper but he was unhappy at not being the master now he had to work under someone and here mukesh was dreaming of becoming independent and so dear friends hope you understood the message behind this story and the message is loud and clear have big dreams work hard to achieve those dreams toil for it and the sky is the limit for it why dream of just car mechanic why dream of just driving the car dream of flying the plane and we all can reach if we work hard having completed this beautiful story with lot of message now we come to the end of it by way of some questions some important questions i am not going to the detail of the answer but i'll just give small hints to some of these questions that i uh, read out for you over here but these questions apart you must learn this story para by para so here are few question the first one is very important one what is the message of the writer miss mrs anis jung in this story message by the writer in this story now this is the question related to the end part of the story but the end part is most important and that's why i have taken it first for the answer you must listen to the last part of the story wherein i have explained 
that the message given is about the two world. And from there on, I say the message is about dreaming big. So with this, this question can be beautifully answered. The next question. The next question for this chapter is, what do you mean by lost spring? Whom is the author talking about in this, through the title? What do you mean by the lost spring? Whom do you think is the author talking about when she says the lost spring? The answer is very simple. The lost spring is about the loss of childhood. The spring is metamorphically used for childhood. And lost means having lost it means they did not get it. They did not get what? The children did not get their childhood. Why the spring is lost? The writer speaks about loss of a spring or loss of childhood by talking about these three, four children who are mentioned in the story. Namely, Sahib, Mukesh, Savita, etc. And then you have to describe about the background of these children that they are working hard, they are toiling, they are struggling for survival. They are not able to make two meals. They did not have full meals even once in their lifetime. So you have to include their condition in your answer, their living condition, the kind of squalor they live in, the kind of dingy houses they live in, the kind of struggle they do struggle for livelihood, struggle for survival, struggle to save themselves from going blind and what not. Struggle in terms of fallen, broken roofs, crumbled houses, poor drainage, no drinking water, that you have to describe in a brief way. The third question, what is Firozabad famous for? And through Firozabad, what does the writer want to say? What is Firozabad famous for? And through Firozabad, what does the writer want to say? The answer is, Firozabad, famous for Bengals in UP, center of Bengal industry in India, that you know. And now the question that is there, next part is, what is the message? What does she want to speak about Firozabad? You have to describe the conversation that takes place between the writer and Mukesh's family at Mukesh's house. In order to describe the condition of Firozabad and the people living there, please look into that part of the story where the writer is present in the Mukesh's house and the kind of questions she asks to the family members of Mukesh and the answer she gets. At the same time, you will also get answer to this question, a part of it from what she narrates about what she sees. Whatever she has seen, she narrates it. She saw dingy lanes. She saw firewood being used, smoky houses. She saw lantern being used, oil lamps for work. She found 
almost blind father of Mukesh and she found that bangle making job is extremely difficult yet it is so common in every lane and by lane she also narrates about the health problems of the people that may be facing that they are facing there and so on and so forth the last question the fourth and the last question in this chapter is if compare mukesh with the other people other his friends and give your opinion about mukesh the question is compare mukesh with others of his friends or his other friends and give your impression about mukesh give your impression about mukesh your impression based on this story so what is the answer when you compare it is in two part this question first is comparison sahib is content with whatever he is getting 800 rupees containing canister getting milk helping out the tea stall master no dream no big things mukesh not content at the same time mukesh want to be independent mukesh want to be car mechanic mukesh want to be car driver and mukesh is dreaming savita he is just working on bangal making mind is numb she just doesn't know even what for is the bangal being made that is what writer says so you have to compare their behavior and then the next part of the question is give your impression about mukesh that means what do you think of mukesh from this story so the answer is from this story we learn that mukesh is little courageous mukesh is little bold mukesh has little daring and mukesh also dreams we also learn that mukesh is expressive and at the same time though he dreams he knows his level he knows that he cannot think of flying a plane and so that's why he keeps mum that means he is very realistic his feet are on the ground he knows his limits he knows his environment he knows his own condition and from those conditions he knows that he will come out to become what he aims to be that is own a car mechanic workshop be a car mechanic himself be a car driver learn to drive the car because if you learn to drive the car then only you will become better mechanic and he is confident of achieving it because when anish jung the writer says that the garage is far away he says i'll walk down so unlike saheb unlike savita mukesh is also confident so you have to speak about the character of mukesh and compare that with those of the other two characters in the story and conclude that mukesh is certainly an example for all young people and at the same time we must not lose heart we must have confidence in our ability in our dream